Revenge Week continues for the New York Knicks, man. This time against the San Antonio Spurs. Knicks going down in the Alamo just a week ago. Uh, mainly due to lackluster effort and being shorthanded. But uh, with the Spurs coming to town today, Knicks were looking to pick up where they left off after a matinee blowout against the Suns. But it was not easy, man. 61 bench points for the Spurs. You had Keldon Johnson cooking. And the Knicks turning into the New York Bricks at the free throw line. Made this one a tougher one than it really should have been. But in crunch time, where do you go to when you need a bucket for the Knicks? You go to your closer. Number 11, Jalen Brunson, who finished with a career-high 38 points, including 11 in crunch time, man. So, like I said, it wasn't pretty, but the Knicks got the job done. This was another one. I picked this one in Knicks Weekly to get the dub, but I thought it was going to be a lot easier than, <laughs> than they made it out to be. But as I said, give credit because like Jalen Brunson, man, was just in his bag. And on the flip side, no matter who the Spurs put on him, whether it was uh, Sohan, Trey Jones, uh, Kelton Johnson, it really didn't matter because Jalen Brunson was just in his bag with a career high 38 points, 17 to 27 shooting, seven rebounds, and six assists as Al flashes the number 11 uh, Jordan jersey. I called it the Jordan jersey. Yeah. But yeah. And, you know, basically in the end, couple of... Uh, it wasn't pretty in the end because it was in not. crunch time, you had a couple of... Uh, you know, I didn't like the fact that, yes, I, I did... You know, Jalen did have those four points and he, and he did assist Grimes on his three. So he accounted for seven points in crunch time. It was still just a little too ISO heavy for me. And oh, for it me, it ISO. was a lot of give it to Jalen, everybody watch. Julius was out of sorts. You know, he's holding on to the ball. He's, you know, making mistakes, throwing it out of bounds, turnovers and stuff like that. So luckily, the team on the other side was a young, inexperienced team. They got the five-second violation on Jeremy Sohan. And at the end, Kelvin Johnson did not get his three off in time. So the Knicks were able to uh, escape with a 117-114 win. You know, first quarter, they looked like it was going to be a dominant night for the New York Knicks. And then you talk about that bench scoring that had 61 points for the Spurs, right? Noah and I discussed that on the Game of the Week preview. Spurs have the top scoring bench in the NBA. We yeah. saw that. The first matchup, Spurs had 35 points to the Knicks, 20. Tonight, 61 for the Spurs, 21 for the Knicks bench. The Knicks mm -hmm. bench is just abysmal when it comes to scoring at this point, man. Used to be our strength. That's not the case anymore. And you saw that in the second quarter. Tibbs had to put his starters back in because he saw the lead just dwindle. Yeah. Knicks, uh, not, not Knicks, Spurs defense decided to turn it up a notch. Yeah, they did. Knicks were, Knicks were just trying to do everything to stay afloat tonight. Thankfully, they did. Thankfully, you have a career high from Jalen Brunson. You know, Julius Randle was solid to begin the game. Kind of fizzled out towards the end, but yeah. his defensive rebounding was still critical for this game because... Mitchell Robinson just could not stay on the court tonight. 13 minutes for him with five personal fouls. Good grief, man. But thankfully, we got Jericho Sims. Hardside did something, but thankfully for Jericho Sims. Yeah. But hey, in the end, came down to Jalen Brunson. You talked about all that isolation scoring. That's not pretty basketball. We're watching the Spurs still run plays for one another. Right. In crunch time, getting easy looks. They're pushing the pace. All those things. The Knicks should be doing the same thing. But I guess my question to you is that when I look at this team, we need this is where you see that you need someone like RJ Barrett to help even out that scoring. Yeah. And, you know, we had some fans that were getting hyped after last game against the Phoenix Suns with quickly as a shooting guard. But now you see what you're 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 seeing what RJ can offer with his relentless driving. He started to finish better now that he got into a rhythm. You need him back. We, yeah. we need that third guy back. I, I I like these Knicks, man. Like I know you like sink my ship the other day when I called and said it was a good loss against the Mavericks. Yeah, of course, yeah, I was being like crazy, but yeah. it's optimism, man. You know, yeah. at the end of the day, you you get good things when you're not playing 
RJ and when you're not playing OB and when it, I don't know what was the quickly 46 minutes. That was crazy tonight. But 46. When, oh. when you're not playing those guys, you get to see how other guys could flourish in the system. You see Julius is going crazy with no RJ on the floor or OB top and anybody. With Julius the focal point and JB coming back, you know, they had those tough losses without no JB, man. That's why I was always optimistic about the Knicks, man. When okay. we are full rostered, we do good, man. I know Rapid Fire, I gotta be quick. Thank you guys, hey. man. Salute to you. All guys. good, man. All good. Happy with the win. Uh, a little weird, uh, like you just brought up that Mitch shot. Yeah. It's, it's like he just hit the weights and took that shot. But anyway, <laughs> um, I want to see uh, – actually, tonight's game is funny because as far as with Randall, I thought it was a really good game with Randall that he had yeah. tonight. Aside from he the did. turnovers, uh, I mean, like that, with that run back and that block uh, after he had that turnover, mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I want to see. I want to see hustle, man. So I like the game. I like the way he's been playing. And uh, like you said earlier, Alex, um, they got to get – uh, Grimes more shots. Yeah, I, I want to see more, you know, more movement, more shots. Because it seems like whenever the ball finds his hands, something good usually happens. Whether he gets a layup or he gets an alley oop or whatever. So something good is always happening. But um, aside from that, like I said, you know, a belated Christmas, New Year's, everything I miss, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever else I missed. Absolutely. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful evening. You know me, rapid fire, and we'll definitely talk soon, man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, whatever it takes to win. Um, I could have. 38 are going to have three points if we win. That's all I really care about. And um, that's just been my, my goal, my mindset, and that's the mindset of this team. He's got to keep it going. But it does, it does feel good with a win, but uh, just whatever it takes. All right, so JB saying whatever it takes to get the job done. Four points in crunch time, uh, four points on his own, and then a nice dish to Quentin Grimes for a nice corner three. So Brunson accounting for seven Nick points in crunch time, which is which is defined as uh, five minutes or less in the game with the game within five points. And at that time, it was just about uh, tied around around crunch time for the Knicks. So great job by by JB leading his team and JB getting it done from the mid range too, man. We got we got to talk about that, too, man. Uh, absolute mid range assassin now. Absolute mid-range assassin. Seven of his 27 attempts were from three. Mm. Everything else inside. Inside, inside, inside. It's nice, man. It's, it's just crafty work, bro. Such a crafty player, man. I mean, his footwork, just his balance. It's I think he's come back from injuries. We didn't know if he was going to be ready for Chicago. Goes ham that during that series, right? Yeah. Especially game one against, you know, breaks ankle, uh, breaks Caruso's ankles that uh, that game. This week he's back, drops twenty four points against the Suns. Tonight, got thirty eight. I mean, dude is just an animal. But all right, Al, good show, man. Right See you guys Friday. Friday. Friday night, Knicks. Robert Randolph still ain't call me about the remix, but it's okay. We here. We out of here.